Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I, it's been a minute since I was able to give you guys an update on um, Sheena Scarborough, uh, the mother of Sade Robinson, Maxwell Anderson, the accused uh, monster, the ineptness of the sheriff's department and the police department. And as we continue along that same vein, um, I, as I continue to ask y'all to pray for this, um, uh, the family and I know that, um, she moved, but, you know, wherever she goes, it's going to be uncomfortable for her because anytime you think about your daughter and you think about she's not intact, you don't have a daughter that's whole, you don't have a body that's whole, you have bits and pieces, that right there is just so freaking mind-boggling. It's so disturbing. Um... And, and and to think that an alderman right down the road in Waukegan, Illinois, would sit there and place an arm on his Facebook account. It just goes to show you the desensitize of um, desensitizement of most people. They've conditioned us to the point now where, you know, oh, the news is out of sight, out of mind, forget it. I mean... That is some serious social engineering. We don't care for one another. We get the sensationalism out of the story, and we done. We on to the next one, hoping to get some clicks and views. Well, I don't get them anyway. Um, and you already got to watch what you say on YouTube. So when I come on here, I ain't making no money on YouTube like a lot of uh, content creators. I mean, hell, I need a camera. I need other things right now. I, I'm at my own mercy. I supply my own things. I bring these stories because they're very important to me. But just for the record, YouTube has put so many restrictions on the content creators. It's difficult to talk to y'all, you know? And so those of us who still continue to want to get, know that there's more room out than in, continue to release this shit up out of our mindset, up out of our hearts, up out of our spirits, and at least let it go out. And so you can understand, you know, how we suffering here or what we going through here. So this particular story now um, was is the latest, and I'd like to share it with you. I, this video is not going to be very long, but this is the latest developments for a lot of y'all who come on my page and ask, well, what's going on with Sade? Um, and I think the last story I did represent was the crazy politician in uh, Waukegan that did that and disrespected and dishonored that family that way. But here's another story, and the latest um, was Sade's mama and her mother and her new attorney, and what they discovered, what they want to talk about. Anyway, just the latest. Here we go. Shadé Robinson's mother, Sheena Scarborough, side by side with her family's new attorney Tuesday. The family would like to protect their rights, protect the image of their daughter. Their pain is spelled out in a 30-page wrongful death lawsuit against Maxwell Anderson, the man charged in Robinson's death. Nothing about this scenario um, could ever be in a parent's mind as something that could possibly happen. Someone found Robinson's severed leg along Lake Michigan last month. Other remains believed to belong to Sade turned up in the days and weeks following her disappearance. That disappearance, prosecutors say, after Robinson went on a first date with Anderson April 1st. The two returned back to his house that night near 39th in Oklahoma. The house has since been sold. 
The civil lawsuit says, quote, after the sale, it is believed based on the facts and witnesses there too, that a finger belonging to Miss Robinson was located at the property. Is this something that law enforcement spoke with the family about? No, this is something that community members located and the community members are willing to testify to. Okay, and are you going to share who those community no. members are? The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office disputing the claims in a statement to 12 News, saying, quote, at no point during this ongoing investigation into Robinson's death has a finger or any other body part been discovered by MCSO, the Milwaukee Police Department, or any other involved law enforcement agency at Anderson's home or on his property. This is very traumatic. Um, it's emotionally daily um, dealing with trauma me and my daughter the family attorney says she served anderson with the lawsuit on tuesday he now has 45 days to respond from jail reporting in milwaukee kendall keys wisn 12 news of course uh it's traumatic thank you sheena i know you just got the weight of the world on your shoulders right now now what i want to share is how in the hell can y'all expect somebody to trust you? Danita, you dropping the ball. You are dropping the freaking fracking ball. Ernell Lucas, I don't know if you would have done any better sitting in this position with this type of case, but y'all y'all need to get y'all shit straight. The, the, the family members all already found uh, foot and ankles and body parts. So what make you think it's so damn far-fetched that they didn't find a damn finger? Talking about no no uh, time ever has the police department or the sheriff. I know, because y'all don't find nothing. It takes family members and witnesses and people out there searching for stuff to find her body parts. Excuse me, her body parts. Because y'all just don't seem to be doing a good job or you, you're overlooking a lot of stuff. Now, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but like I said, how difficult. I'm not even thinking about the police and they damn feelings right now. I'm thinking about that family. How in the hell you going to sit up here and say, in no way? And that's all who been finding shit is the family. They done found the girl's blanket after y'all done went out there. They done found the ankle after y'all done went out there. What in the hell? They done found a leg. Everything they finding, it. Y'all only came to see the first, the the, uh, the leg. All the other parts have been provided and told by family members. You don't, don't nobody trust y'all. Same thing you did with Jeffrey Dahmer. So it's not the people, uh, um, um, it's the institution. Because these are all black people in these positions. That's half-assed looking for this girl. And keep saying, well, we're doing the best we can. And y'all ain't doing enough. You're not doing enough. And I believe the family, and until we're proven wrong, I'm going to keep standing with them, that I believe it. Because they didn't found too many body parts already. Why would they lie about a finger? Y'all go straight to hell with that. Anyway... The Keystone police, Keystone cops have said that uh, the family is lying. It's pretty much what they're saying. And then nothing has been discovered since they didn't discover it. What a crock of crap. I get so sick of these generic uh, responses to their insubordination. I really do. But with that being said, I want y'all to keep continuing to pray for uh, Sade's mother, Sheena Scarborough, her sister, her aunt, her family, all of them, her dad. Continue to pray for them that they may at least, uh, you know, f just find the remains of their loved one's body. They washing all up on shore. Um... It's, it's the most hideous, insane situation besides Jeffrey Dahmer that I could even possibly think of. Anyway, with that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share my channel. Share this video and get on MPD.
about searching Kern Park for that girl's body parts. Go do some more damn looking. I'll see you in the next video.